Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSumer talking to you here. And in today's video, I'm gonna try out playing Call of Duty Mobile Warzone on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is a test for the iPhone 15 Pro Max to see how it handles playing this very, very intensive game on the iPhone. Yes, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is just one of the most recent games to come out to iOS and it's one of the most demanding ones. So in today's video, I'm gonna have some fun, try out this new game from Call of Duty and of course, tell you how it's my experience using the iPhone 15 Pro Max playing it. If it gets too hot, if it gets too slow, I will tell you guys. And of course, this is interesting because Apple announced the A17 Pro, a very important leap forward for the iPhone in terms of gaming. We should get more AAA game likes for the App Store. And Call of Duty Warzone is one of the first. So let's try it out. If you are excited, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, different layout today. But I hope you enjoyed. Roll the intro. So, to start, I want to connect my iPhone to my Mac so I can screen record the video. But this is important because I don't want to spend any time and any resources on the iPhone. Again, I'm currently charging the iPhone, so I won't be able to tell you how much battery will I spend. But I will be able to tell you if it gets too hot, if it gets too cold, if it runs well if the 120 hertz make a difference, whatever. So I will just connect my Mac and start screen recording. So I finally, after a few minutes, managed to connect my iPhone to my Mac and to start to screen record. So as you can see, we got this menu right there and we had several tips. <laughs> the game already tells us to play one more match to unlock the main features, of course. I only played one match before I actually started this video. I wanna try it out to see if I'm good at it or not. But again, this is a different game. My iPhone is already very, very hot. I can already tell. This is going to be a problem. But let's start the game, find the match, and see if we can get any victory, and see if we can get any type of victory royale. But again, waiting for the match to start. Whenever it does, I'll talk to you. So we have been just dropped out out of the sky. And yeah, I guess I have to open up my parachute. We will be dropping down right there. So, what's happening? Intro. There we go. Okay, so that was just the lobby. Now, the real game begins. The, the graphics, as you can see here, are pretty, pretty cool. And here, here we are. So, let's just drop from the helicopter. And boom, I think there we go, drop. Here we are in the sky now, dropping from the helicopter, starting our game. I need to choose whatever I want to start the game. Let's start here on the Superstore. I never played Call of Duty Warzone on the PC. This will be my first or second time playing it ever. But I know the, the, the simple things. I know that whatever I need to do, I need to kill everyone. This is a, a Royale game, so yeah. I've played Fortnite a lot, so I know what I'm doing. I don't know that I mix up this game very, very well, but I know it can be quite fun. So let me see if I can find some weapons right here. All right, so I got some gas mask and nothing, no weapons. Nice. So I just got a pistol. At least I got a pistol. I don't need to fight with my bare hands. I'm not a savage. Right now the, the graphics look very, very good. There's no way for this door. I cannot jump from here. Well, 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 I'm screwed. Hmm. Okay, I can put this button to automatically walk. The one thing is, I don't know how many of you will play without a controller. You can play with a controller. You definitely can play with a controller. You don't need to use your hands. I simply dropped, dropped my controller at my parents' home for my brother. I don't have any with me. So now we got a shotgun. Nice. At least we got something we can shoot. You also have these chests. Again, this is very, very like Call of Duty Warzone. And of course, Fortnite. Fortnite was Fortnite was the first of these kind of games, these Royale games. They are pretty, pretty cool. These battle Royales. Yeah, I need to find a way to get out of here. I need to reload my weapons. On the screen, you can probably see there's a lot of buttons. Oh, the iPhone is getting hot. Very, very hot. If I had a thermometer right there, oh, I'm being shot. If I had a thermometer right there, 
I would say that the iPhone is about 40 degrees Celsius right now. This is very, very hot. Whoa. This is not warm to the touch. This is extremely hot. Focus on the game. Focus, focus. There's a player there. Can I kill him from here? Yo, first kill. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Lightweight. Oh, I'm being shot at. Let's run. Can we get another kill? Oh, reload time. Get another base plate so I can get a little bit more life. Yep, second kill of the game. Let's go. Third kill. Oh, I'm, I'm hot. More bullets. Dead. Let's go. Get more high items. The last guy, the guy from the team. Second kill, confirmed. Where's the other guy? So, if you know Call of Duty, you also know that you can summon things, for example. Here I can probably tell this is my team over there. So this is a team match, I didn't know. Just killed three guys, I didn't know that. Know that. Fine, this is a PlayStation, right now nothing. So I, uh, if there's any cars here I can pick up, I don't know. But we are being shot at, nice teamwork. Oh, bazookas, from where? From there, okay. Nice, nice job, I guess. Well, the iPhone is getting very, very hot. <laughs> That's a for sure. Oh well, we're heading there. So if you don't know the game, I will explain some details. You can see here on the map that you have the zone areas that you need to move. The circle will get smaller and smaller because you need to concentrate the players so the game ends really fast. This is for you to be faster killing others to incentivate actually fights. And this is just like Fortnite. If you play Fortnite, then you really know how to play Call of Duty Mobile Warzone. And this is more like the PC game. I mean, at the end of the day, you actually you actually don't find a, a difference between all of these, but it's fun to play a mobile game on your iPhone. The thing is, it's, it's extremely hot to the touch. It's like 50 degrees now. Oh my God, this will melt the iPhone. And it's right there on the CPU. You can actually tell the hotspot. It's like right there. I don't know if this is a good idea for the battery, long term. And also screen recording. Let me see how it goes. Yeah, not easy. Right now, how many are left? Five players left, or eight players left. I have three kills, five teams. So eight players, five teams left. Okay, that makes sense. Less than two players per team. All right. I think we're gonna win this game. We got a good chance. Three out of three are alive. Only eight players left. Nice. He's scoping it somewhere. Huh. One thing, this game is kind of dull, like not a lot of players, not a lot of things to do. I, I expect, I was expecting at least I could ride a car. Let me see if I can ride a car. I don't need to win this game, I just need to test the iPhone. So let me see if I can test this car. Sorry, team. Yep. Yeah. The right Jeep. Let me see if I can get in. Yeah, I can drive it. Pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, the circle, the circle is closing in, guys. Oh, this is difficult to drive. I don't know how to drive this. I'm screwed. Yep, this is not easy, man. Okay, I understood now. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible at driving a car. Not in real life, I promise, guys. Like, not in real life. I'm actually really good. Well, okay, we are now at the circle, we can stop. I can leave the car. All right. You can drive cars, that's pretty fun. Sorry if I keep looking to the right, that's where my screen is, to see if it's all okay. Oh, the iPhone is pretty hot now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not usually doing these kind of videos. This is for the first for me, but I hope you enjoy these guys. First time for everything, right? For now, no players. I've killed three. Oh, there's one. Boom, another kill. 
Let's go. Four kills. Right. Nice job, teammate. I will finish it off. Finish it off, man. Oh, just won my first game. This is probably like your first game, so it's probably easy for you to win. It's just a tutorial. But I don't know. And it should have this final in memoriam of and all the players' names. Quite fun. But yeah, first game over and the iPhone is pretty, pretty hot. I think I will go for another game, but I've been charging the iPhone via the Mac, so using this USB-C cable. And I've been playing the game. And let me just check on the battery life quick, real quick. Cannot be 100%. <laughs> this is wrong. Wrong on the screen recording. But it probably does not tell your battery life. But oh my god, the iPhone is really hot to the touch. It's really, really hard to tell, but Jesus. All right, let me go for the last game, the second game. As you saw, it was really fluid, no issues there. So, yeah, thank you for that. Let me go for a battle royale for the last game. Yeah, this is on the theme of, of the battle royale games. Just like Fortnite, you have a battle pass, you have skins. I don't like these type of games. I don't play a lot of games. I actually don't like to play mobile games, neither computer games. The only computer game that actually was addicted for a while was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That was my favorite game ever, ever, on every platform. I had actually never found a better game than that. I love Assassin's Creed. I've played several Assassin's Creeds to the end. Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Unity, and Assassin's Creed I've played half of the game for Assassin's Creed Odyssey and also played half of the game for Assassin's Creed Origins and I also played the beginning part of the game for Assassin's Creed 5, I think. The one in London, or 6. I don't remember the, game, the name. While we wait for the beginning of this match, let me see if it takes a while or not. Yeah, I, I think that on the, the, this very, very small form factor, it's quite incredible that you can play games with this high quality renders. You will have to download like about 3 gigs of information. It will ask you if you want to download the very high performance pack or the lower performance pack. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro Max, there's a choice. I don't know if you have older iPhones, they will give you that choice. And I don't know which iPhone do you require for it to give you it the choice. I'm not sure. But one thing that I'm sure though, the graphics look incredible. The game is super fluid. I don't know if it's 120 hertz or not. I don't have any way to test it right now. But one thing that I know, the graphics are perfect, but the phone gets very, very hot, especially on the back. You can definitely notice while you are playing. And I would say that the best playing experience would be connecting your iPhone via USB-C, using a USB-C cable to a giant monitor, and then using a controller. That would be the best way to play this game. Right now, I'm just testing it out. I'm using my bare hands just like you would probably do it. And I'm screen recording, so the quality wouldn't be as good. This is the Gulag, guys. So where you die, when you die, you come here and you have to fight to get back to the game. That's how it works. That's something that is different than Fortnite. When you die, you are not actually dead. You're just into the Gulag. You need to fight for your life. If you win the match, 1v1, then you go back into the game. If you lose, you are dead. Now we are in the lobby once we enter the game. I'll talk to you. So, here we are, and again, on the beginning animation of the game, as you can see, the graphics are really, really good. They look like console graphics, PS4 maybe. <laughs> Insane, how you can have that on this very, very small device. Here we are, starting off the game. Battle yeah, okay. All right, soldier, mark a drop point for your Let me just drop. There you go, let's start the game. F4, team players, I think I will go for the stadium this time. As you can see, far away the graphics they take a little bit longer to reload, but once they do load, they look amazing. Again, did you saw the difference when I opened up the parachute for now that I'm actually moving forward to the stadium? The quality of the stadium vastly improved. So they are only rendering the graphics that are closer to the subject. This makes sense, this saves on graphics performance and power, so Let's see, there's the enemy player there. Oh, this is, no wait, this is... Two kills out of the way, Jesus. I'm fast, or one kill. 
Okay, now I got buns. Let's go. Now I'm playing. This is a real game now. The other one was probably tutorial. Now I'm playing to win this game. Another one, two victories out of two. No players here. I need to rush up because my camera storage is about to run up. So if you lose my feed, don't worry, you will have the screen recording. Let's go. For now, no players. Mm -hmm. I've had one kill, not bad. One kill is not bad, not at all. So, yep, right now, no enemies. I don't know where my team is, but I'm trying to head out to their location. Can I drive this? That's a good question. Can I drive this construction? With no, I can't. That would be too cool. I think there are limited cars I can drive here. I haven't seen any right now. Can I drive that truck? Oh, that's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. Oh, and I'm dead. So I'm dead, guys. I'm dead. And the camera has run out, so you're probably only listening to my voice right now. Damn. Now, I'm into the gulag. So, yeah, only with my voice, not with my face. Let's just see how it goes. So, yeah, here we are on the gulag. Any weapons here? Nope. I will have to fight with my bare knuckles. Prepare to fight. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm waiting. Okay. I can see the players fighting for their lives. So this is the Gulag. Oh, wait. Why am I pushing this guy? I don't know why am I pushing this guy. What? Why am I pushing this guy? Oh, no. Now we start. Makes sense. There we go. Can I kill this guy? Nope. He just killed me. I'm dead. So, yeah. That was the game. I can level up my armory. And you go into the main menu. You get this cool animation. Again, all of the animations, all of... All of the graphics, they look really, really good. And that's it. I think that, that that's Call of Duty Warzone to you. Two games, won one, lost another, but I gave you the whole experience. The game runs pretty fine on the iPhone 50 Pro Max, actually very, very well. The only thing that I would say is that it gets too hot. So, this has been it. This is the end of this video. Yes, quite fun playing Call of Duty Mobile on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As you saw, I won one game, I lost the other. That's life. You, you either lose, you either win. You cannot win every time, so you need to learn how to lose. But again, the iPhone did really, really well. Got a bit hot, hotter than it should be, around 50 degrees Celsius. It was actually very, very warm in my hands. If you come right now, you touch it, you will probably feel it. But I gotta say, in the last two, three minutes, I let the phone cool down a bit, and it's now warm, not very hot. So it got very, very hot while playing the game, when I left the game, I noticed that the iPhone right away in the first minute got substantially, substantially cooler and after two, three minutes, it's getting cooler each minute that passes. The thing is, this iPhone needed a bit better cooling. That's my opinion. I think that Apple needs to find a new technology to help the cooling. Samsung and other Android phones, they have this carbon vapor chamber that enables the phone to dissipate heat better. The iPhone does not have that and you can definitely feel the glass on the back getting warm. But if you play games on your phone, you are probably used to that and you won't probably care. Even if you use a case, I don't have a case on my hand right now, but if you use a case, for example, this silicone case on your iPhone, you wouldn't notice as much the heat. And if you had a leather case, even better. So yeah, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max for gaming. I guess this was one of the most intensive gaming sessions that I had on my iPhone 15 Pro Max since I bought it. I don't game on my iPhone, neither on my computer, but especially on my iPhone. And I just proved to you that the A17 Pro is a beast of a chip. And Apple told us that this would run AAA games. And for what I've played for Call of Duty Mobile Warzone, I can attest to that. 
This is probably the most taxing game on, on the App Store for the iPhone right now. And it did exceptionally well in terms of performance. Again, I think that this game would be played better off on an iPad with a bigger screen using a controller or even connect your iPhone using USB-C, one of the best wonders of USB-C, using the USB-C cable connected to a, mon a monitor and then connect, of course, a controller, a PS4, PS5 controller via Bluetooth to your iPhone and use it to play Call of Duty. You will thank me later. So, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Did you enjoy this different piece of the content? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. This is me, Tex, talking to you here. Bye-bye.